example four, we're being asked to graph 2x minus 6y divided by 3 is greater than 4. And we have to assume that x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. So we have restrictions that x and y are both positive, which is going to affect our graph. But we start out the same, which is by finding the equation that corresponds to this inequality. So I have my equation corresponding to the inequality, and I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. I'm trying to put this into slope-intercept form. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. Then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6. Give me y equals 1 3rd x minus 2. So I have my first point because I have my y-intercept, so that will give me 0, 2 as my first point. I'm going to go ahead and find the x-intercept as well. So I'm going to let y equal 0. I'm going to plug it into here. 2x minus 6y equals 12. Substitute in 0. So I get 2x equals 12, or x equals 6, x equals 6. Therefore, my x-intercept is at 6, 0. So I have my two points, 0, 2, excuse me, 0, negative 2, and 6, 0. So that's my y-intercept, my x-intercept. I then see I have a strict inequality, so I know that I need to use a dashed line. Okay, the next thing I need to do is figure out which half plane my solutions are going to be in. I use my test point of 0, 0, and I go back to my original inequality, 2x minus 6y divided by 3 is greater than 4. So 2 times 0 minus 6 times 0 is greater than 4, and that's all divided by 3. 0 divided by 3 is greater than 4. So I come up with 0 is greater than 4. Is 0 greater than 4? No. Since that does not satisfy the inequality, that means that this point is not in the correct half plane. The thing is, before I start shading my whole solution set here, I have to stop and think. They're telling me that x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. The problem is, if I shade all this, I'm going to have a bunch of negative values for y. All these values for y are going to be negative, all below here. And if I shade way over here, I'm going to have a bunch of negative values for x. However, they are not allowing that. So what I have to do is only shade the part of the half plane that contains values for x and y that are positive. So remember, in the first quadrant, the values for x are positive and the values for y are positive. So I need the area in this half plane that also lies in the first quadrant. And since it says greater than or equal to 0, I am going to include this area here where y is equal to 0. However, I'm not including the points on the line because this is a strict inequality. So again, what I did is I found my corresponding equation and then I found from that my y-intercept and my x-intercept, graphed the line because it's a strict inequality, I used a dashed line 
And then I found my test point and realized that this test point is not in the correct plane. I need to use the lower half plane, but I'm not going to shade the whole thing in. I'm only going to shade in this little wedge in the first quadrant because in that area, both X is positive and Y is positive. So it meets the restrictions that I was given. That concludes this session of educator.com. See you soon.